There are many ways on how to graph the linear equation, and one of them is finding the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Now, by definition, the x-intercept is the point of intersection between the line and the x-axis. So the y-intercept will be the point of intersection of your line and the y-axis. Now, in the x-y plane, the y-axis is your vertical line, and the x-axis is your horizontal line. Now, if you have the graph of your linear equation, let's say this line right here, it will Will connect or it will intersect on the y-axis and on the x-axis most often than not. So to get your y-intercept and the x-intercept it will help us graph the equation of a line because we know by theorem that we need to have two points to be able to create a line and that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to find the uh, x and the y-intercept of a given equation of a line. So for example, we need to graph the standard equation of a line given by 8x plus 4y equal to 40. So let's find its x-intercept and its y-intercept to be able to graph the equation. So the first step is to find the x-intercept. And the rule in finding the intercepts of a line is pretty simple. If you are given the general equation, which is 8x plus 4y equal to 40, and if you're looking for the x-intercept, that means we're going to set y to 0 so we can eliminate y in the equation. So setting y to 0 will give us 8x plus 4 times 0 equal to 40, which will give us 8x plus 0 equal to 40. Now by solving for x, we'll end up with 8x equal to 40, dividing both sides by 8 it will leave us with x equal to 5. And x equal to 5 in this step is our x-intercept. And we're going to graph this later on on our third step. Now for the second step, since we have found the x-intercept, we will do the same thing on the y-intercept. But this time, since we need y, we're going to set x to 0. So by setting x to 0, we'll have 8 times 0 plus 4y equal to 40, which will then have 0 plus 4y equal to 40, leaving us with 4y equal to 40. And by solving for y, by dividing both sides by 4, we'll have y equal to 10. And this will be our y-intercept. Now, since the intercepts are given to be uh, um, points, we're going to convert the x-intercept as x equal to 5 and the y-intercept as y equal to 10 into points. So the third step will be graphing the equation of a line since we have the intercepts from step 1 and step 2. Now the x-intercept is 5, so therefore since it's along the x-axis, it means the value of x is equal to 5 and the value of y will be equal to 0. And the y-intercept is equal to 10. If we change it in a point, then we'll have 0 for x and 10 for y. So now we have two points that we can use to create a line. So the first point will be the x-intercept at x equal to 5, and the second point will be at y equal to 10, or positive 10, which is graphed up here on the positive side of your y-axis at 0 and 10. So therefore, if you connect the two points, you will be able to create a line. So this will be the graph of 8x plus 4y equal to 40 using the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So with that, answering example number two will be a lot easier. If we need to find the x and the y intercept of negative 3x plus y equal to 6 so we can graph them, we can find its x and y intercept by setting each of the variable to 0. So for step number one, I'm going to look for the y intercept. So if I'm going to find the y intercept, that means I'm going to set x to 0, leaving me with y equal to 6. Therefore, my y-intercept is at 0 and 6. And for my step number 2, since I have my y-intercept, I will then find the x-intercept by setting y to 0. So now I have negative 3x plus 0 equal to 6, leaving me with negative 3x equal to 6. Therefore, x is equal to negative 2. So my x-intercept now will be at negative 2 and 0. Since I have my x and y intercepts, I can now graph the line using my two points. So this is my x-intercept at negative 2 and my y-intercept at positive 6. Connecting them will give me the graph of negative 3x plus y equal to 6.